we've been featuring some very interesting laptops on the channel lately. And this is another very unique laptop. So HP has sent over their brand new HP Envy 15. And they've also sponsored this video for us to give you guys a closer look at this very, very special laptop. So why is this laptop so special? Well, it comes with a 4K touch display. That's also an OLED panel. Yes, guys, this is a 4K, a 4K OLED laptop. And you also get up to a 10th generation Intel Core i9 processor and an NVIDIA RTX GPU. So this laptop is not just outstanding for video editing, photo editing, and 3D modeling, but it's also a very good choice for gaming as well. So without any further ado, get some snacks ready. And here is our first look at the HP Envy 15, 4K OLED RTX laptop. Okay, so starting off with the design, the HP Envy 15 is a 15 inch laptop, hence, you know, its name. It comes in this really nice silver metal build. And yes, this is a full metal body. There's no plastic here at all. So this is a very premiumly built laptop. I'm also a big fan of the silver color, especially now when most laptops are black or dark gray. Seeing something different definitely makes it stand out. But rather than this being a thick and heavy power laptop, the HP Envy 15 is surprisingly portable at a weight of just 1.81 kilograms and a thickness of just 1.8 centimeters. This is one of the thinnest and lightest power laptops that I've ever seen. Also, the body itself is actually tapered. So it is thinner on the front at just 0.5 centimeters and then it gets thicker towards the back. The sides are also very, very thin, at just 0.5 centimeters, making them about the same thickness as the ports. So yeah, overall, the HP Envy 15 has this very thin look to it, no matter the angle that you look at the laptop from. Now, in terms of the actual ports, we have a microSD card reader on the left, alongside not one, but two Thunderbolt 3 ports with full 40 gigabit per second transfer speeds. You can also use Thunderbolt to connect to a powerful eGPU with something like an RTX 3080 and get some insane gaming performance out of this. So it's just incredible what you can do with Thunderbolt. You can also hook this up to a 5K monitor via Thunderbolt or even a 5K and a 4K monitor at the same time, all connected via the single cable. So as you can probably tell, I'm a big fan of Thunderbolt and it's really nice to see that we actually get two ports on this two Thunderbolt 3 ports rather than the maximum one port that we normally see on Windows laptops. Aside from this, we get a full-size HDMI port, which is also an HDMI 2.0 port. So that means that it can do 4K at 60 Hertz. Then we get a USB 3.1 type A port as well as the power connector which uses a powerful 200 watt power adapter, plenty enough to supply this beast with all the juice that it needs. Then on the right hand side, we have a vent, a second USB 3.1 type A port, as well as a headphone jack. On the bottom, the HP Envy 15 has some pretty tall rubber feet in order to give it as much airflow as possible, which will be quite important when we get to the actual performance section of this video. And I gotta say, I really love how this laptop looks from the bottom as well. Like I haven't said this about many laptops, but this one has this industrial look to it with perfectly cut cutouts for the air intake, the air outtake as well as the speakers. So overall, design wise, the HP Envy 15 is actually one of the most premium looking laptops that I have ever seen. Now, when it comes to the display, this is also one of the most striking displays that you can find on a laptop. Not just because this is a full 4K panel, which on a 15.6 inch panel gives you a PPI of 282, which is quite a lot, um, but also because this is an OLED display made by Samsung. So this is actually an AMOLED panel, uh, to be more precise. Uh, the black levels are perfect. The viewing angles are incredible alongside um, a 100,000 to one contrast ratio. So all of this makes this one of the very best viewing experiences on a laptop. So whether you're watching a movie or playing a game, the colors will appear super vibrant and the overall viewing experience is going to be very, very impressive. This display can go up to 400 nits of brightness and it also supports HDR as well. 
Now, this is a touch display, which means that even though the panel won't go fully, fully flat for you to be able to use it as a drawing tablet, at least you can indeed interact with the on-screen elements by just touching the panel. So what about a keyboard and the trackpad? Well, the keyboard actually feels better than I expected. So it's got this rubbery, but also clicky feel at the same time. So it's soft to the touch, but you also get a clicky feel when you type. So it's pretty nice. Uh, the keyboard itself is backlit, but we do not have an RGB backlight here. So, you know, that's probably because this is not a laptop that was dedicated to gaming. More about that in just a bit. We do have a ThinkPen reader, which for the very first time that I've ever seen on a laptop is an actual key on the keyboard like so you cannot actually press it but it does replace the right hand side control key that's a key that i don't think i've ever used as i mostly use the left control key and i think most of you do the same and to be honest i actually do quite like having the spin reader here as opposed to on the top built into the power button as it makes it so much easier to reach when i'm using the trackpad and i'm into an app that does have fingerprint support Speaking of the trackpad, we get a glass trackpad rather than the traditional plastic trackpad that we see on a lot of Windows laptops. And we also get full support for Windows 10 gestures as well as for Windows 10 precision drivers. The trackpad is also a single button and it uses a diving board mechanism, meaning that it gets more difficult to press the closer you get to the top. Moving on to the camera, the microphones and the speakers, the front camera is positioned on the top. So no weird angles like you get on some other laptops that have the camera on the bottom bezel or even inside the keyboard itself. I'll let you guys be the judge when it comes to the camera quality and the microphones. Okay, so this is a microphone and a front-facing camera test from the brand new HP Envy 15 2020. So let me know what you guys think about the microphone quality and uh, the camera quality. As you can probably tell, the viewing angle is pretty wide. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think about microphones and the camera. Now, in terms of the speakers, they are powered by BNO's audio, and here's how they sound at different volume levels. So now that we've covered the design, the display, the keyboard, the trackpad, camera, microphones, and speakers, let's talk about my favorite section, and that is the performance. So the model that we have right here comes with the Intel i7 10th generation 10750H processor, which is a 6-core CPU with a turbo boost of up to 5 GHz. According to Intel, this offers up to 54% more frames per second in games when compared to a 3-year-old PC, up to 44% better overall performance when compared to the same 3-year-old PC, and up to 2 times faster 4K video and rendering. GPU-wise, we get the RTX 2060 Max-Q Edition with 6GB of DDR6 memory. So this, in combination with 16GB of DDR4 uh, 2933MHz memory and 1TB of NVMe flash storage, make it a very powerful device for not just 4K video editing, but also 3D modeling and gaming as well. So the 2060 isn't really a 4K gaming card, so you would not be gaming at 4K resolution. However, you can easily play pretty much any modern game in 1080p on maxed out settings and still get a very stable 60 frames per second frame rate or even higher. In some games, you can even bump the resolution to 1440p. So in Fortnite, for example, I can play on fully maxed out settings, so epic settings, and I'm still getting a solid 90 frames per second frame rate in 1080p. And if I bump the resolution to Quad HD, I'm still getting about 70 frames per second while still having everything on Epic. And since we have an RTX GPU, this laptop is actually very good in terms of 3D rendering. So if you use software such as Keyshot 9 that does actually support GPU rendering, we've seen a noticeable improvement in rendering times, uh, even coming from our 32 core rendering PC. Yes, this laptop, thanks to its RTX GPU, can render faster than our dedicated rendering PC using CPU rendering. So overall, I would say that this laptop is still suited more for creatives or than you know people who are looking for a gaming machine. Uh, but if you want a game on this, you definitely can. Think of the HP Envy 15 
as, yeah, a creative laptop that can also game pretty well. Now, in terms of the battery life, HP promises up to 16 and a half hours of battery on the HP NV15. Obviously, that does depend on how you intend to use it. The NV15 does actually support fast charging, meaning that you can charge it up to 50% in just 45 minutes, which is pretty impressive. Now, I do want to mention that if you want to use this to its full potential, you need to have it plugged in as when you're on the go, that RTX 2060 would just be too par demanding to be utilized at its max performance. Okay, so in the end, who is the HP NV15 for and how much does it actually cost? Well, a similar spec model to our unit that comes with the same i7-10750H processor, the RTX 2060 and 16 gigabytes of RAM, but 512 gigabytes of storage rather than one terabyte and a 4K IPS LCD display rather than 4K OLED. So that configuration costs around 1800 pounds, which I think it's actually pretty good considering that for this price, other laptops don't even come with a dedicated GPU at all, not even to mention a 4K display. Overall, if you're creative and you do photo and video editing, 3D modeling, 3D rendering, I would definitely consider taking a look at the HP NV15, as it not only offers a stunning looking body, but also a stunning display alongside some unrivaled performance for its price. But yeah, let me know in the comments your thoughts on the HP NV15. Would you get one? And if so, what would you actually use it for? If you want to get one, speaking of that, uh, there's a few links in the description to learn more about the HP NV15 and also, you know, buy one. Uh, and you're also supporting the channel by doing so. Thanks to HP for sponsoring this whole project. Thanks to you guys for watching it. Um, and yes, this has been pretty much it for this one. This has been Zenoftech. I'm Daniel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Zenoftech, signing out.